that girl organizes. So did you have to jump your husband's car this week? It's been really cold. This morning it was negative 14 degrees. That's Arctic temperatures. It's nasty and it's really bad for our car batteries. And let's face it, they just don't work very well when they are so, so cold. So are you having challenges getting your car into your garage because your car is just obviously too big for your garage because, well, let's face it, you only have a three car garage and the kids' bikes and everything take up tons and tons of room. And when the kids just dump their sports equipment and their bikes in there, there's no room for your car. Well, I can help you with that. I'll tell you what though, I'm not gonna get my butt in your garage when it is Arctic temperatures. But if you have a heated garage, or if the inside of your garage is 40 degrees plus, or when it warms up a little bit, I am all over it. Thanks for the hearts. So my team will be there. It's not just me. We get things done fast and efficiently for you. You do not want to have your car full of snow outside, draining the battery. Batteries are expensive. And let's talk about safety issues for a second. I have a girlfriend who last year in the ice storm, you remember the ice storm that hit us in the middle of the night? Well, she lives on a slant and she couldn't put her, her cars in the garage because it was a little bit packed. So her and her husband park their cars in the driveway like everyone else would. They wake up in the morning and where are their cars? They're missing. They're in the middle of the cul-de-sac. Well, thank goodness they didn't crash into each other, hit somebody walking their poor dog, take your neighbor out, hey Kristen, hey Amy, or crash into someone else's car. It's really dangerous. You know, what if a kid was walking behind there or mainly, you know, throwing papers or something and someone got run over? So it's really dangerous and it's just so much better to have your car in the garage. Who wants to take snow off their car when we get all these snowstorms? I know I wouldn't want to and I'm sure you don't either. So here's the idea, a lot of people are like, hey, how long does it take to clear out my garage, like an hour? Have you seen your garage? No, hey Lynn. The average garage takes four to six hours to take care of it. A packed garage has taken me 10 to 20 hours. So it just depends. If you send me pictures or you want me to come out for a free consult, I'd be happy to help you with that. I'm Anne Marie Gunther of That Girl Organizes. Don't forget, <laughs> get organized, stay organized. <laughs> Lynn, I love that you jumped on my headline. It was a doozy. Have a good day, everyone, and stay warm.